How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back into the video. We are doing another mail day today. This is a pretty interesting mail day. I'm very excited about it. We got this stuff. We got this big massive box from Ultra Pro. We got this, which I already opened because I wasn't sure what it was, and then I realized what it was, so I know what's already in there, and I'm just going to start with that. But before I do, remember, if you guys enjoy this stuff, if you guys enjoy the mail day videos and my content, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the like button, and if you want to support the channel, you can support us through Patreon, which is linked down below, or the TCG Player affiliate link, which is also linked down below. So if you want to buy any of the cards that I bought, you can buy them through that link, and it helps with the channel. So... First thing I want to go through is this package, which I already opened, but I didn't know what it was. That's why it showed up to my parents' house, and I have no idea why. And then, when I opened it, I realized what it was. This is pretty funny. We got five packs of Double Masters. If you don't know what this is, I think there's only five in here. So, these are the... Free packs that they gave me after sending in the um, the little codes on the VIP pack boxes. They finally showed up. I sent those like back in, I don't know, maybe August or something. And they finally came in. So for those of you that are waiting, they're still coming. And we're just going to start off with these packs because I am dying to crack some packs. See if we can pull, any, pull anything cool out of these freebie packs. Yeah, is it Charm? Veteran Explorer, Oubliette, and Vishkal Blood Arbiter. Oof. And Progender Mimic. Progender Mimic is at least good. I, heard, I forgot there's two rares in each. Foil Urza's Power Plant and a Foil Thopter Engineer. All right, progenitor mimic's not bad, but I mean, I don't think that's any money right now. It used to be money. Doubt it's money anymore. And it used to not be a lot of money. It used to just be like, it's a little money. So we get 10 rares in these five packs, which is nice. Vampire Hex Mage, Doctor Engineer, Cranial Plating, and Braids. And Wrath of God. Wrath of God's always nice to have. Strength of Arms, and a Cogwork Assembler. Come on, we just gotta hit some Mythics. So we get like, sort of Fire and Ice or something like that. That'd be nice. Or, hey, uh, Force of Will, I would love that. Mishra's Bobble, that's good. Cogwork Assembler, Skull Mulcher, and a Deep Glow Skate. This used to be 10 bucks. I doubt it's very much money now. And an Endless Atlas. Underrated card. This card's great in Commander. Foil Crib Swap and a Foil Death Heap Ritual. Two packs left. So let's see if we can actually pull something good or if it's just going to be a bunch of garbage. I mean, we got some okay stuff, but like nothing money. There's, there's zero real money in this so far. Oriok Salvagers. There's for knowledge, Galvanic Blast, and a Woodland Bastion. Wooded Bastion is probably the best card so far, and it's not worth too much. And it's Rastodon, Conclave Naturalists, and a Rush of Knowledge. Wooded Bastion's, I think, the best pull so far, and that's a few bucks. That's not terrible. I mean, considering these are free, that's pretty good. But none of these, none of these packs have been worth the cost of a pack. A normal cost of a pack. And boom. Karthus. Alright, we got a mythic. It's unfortunately not a very good mythic for because it was also in the mystery boosters, but it's a mythic. And Joyra. The Cathodian and a Spellskite foil. Hey, that's solid. Alright, that was by far the best pack. And for free cards, not bad. Not bad. Spellskite foil along with the Karthus, Wood Bastion, a couple of playable cards. Not too bad. Alright. 
Next up, I'm going to move this little thing to the side. We'll get that big box last. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to do my best to try to hide addresses if there are any. All right, no address there. No cards in there, so that's... That was a good one. I'm really, really bad at getting this stuff out without showing the address, so. Let's see if I can improve my usual ability on that this time around. All right, come on, there we go, all right. Ooh, all right, we got stained glass, Jace, wielder of mysteries. So I picked this bad boy up. Oh, and it's still in the plastic. Packaging that comes in, that's cool. I picked this bad boy up because uh, I was playing with my CDH deck and I realized that after my Thassa's Oracle was exiled, I had no other way to win the game. So there's a plan B. This is a pretty cool package here. I already know it's in here just because I see where it's from. This was a pretty cool one. All right, let's see. It's inside some Russian book pages. Interesting packaging there. I have no idea what those pages are. That's weird. Uh, Russian math. We got Russian math here. Interesting. Oh, and it's wrapped up in some more math. Okay, let's see. Is there anything? I don't remember how many of these I got. So we'll see here. Well, here we go. We got Russian foil smothering tithe. They gave me a foil mountain as well. But Russian foil smothering tithe. I picked these up for, I think it was like, I, here, hold on. How many did I end up getting? And we also got a Russian Kaya's ghost form. That's cool. And then over here, another Foil Smothering Tithe, Regular Forest, and this one. <laughs> so I picked these up, I think it was 35 bucks a piece, and it seems like a steal because it's Russian Foil and Smothering Tithe. So yeah, don't know what it's going for now, but I'm happy that I bought them. Also, I love it when... I buy a card from somewhere out of the country and they throw in some extra cards because I love the like lands from the lands and like playable cards in Russian. It's cool. Like the Russian language is really cool looking. This is a cool card. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Next up, we got this little this little doohickey over here. Cool stuff, Inc. So it's gotta be... I know it's gotta be... I think. I, I Well, I know it's going to be call time cards. That's what I know. Okay. We got Dream Devour Full Arts. And one Full Art Foil. So Dream Devour is a card that I speculated a little bit on. I think that this is going to be a very good card. I think it's going to end up being a very much a staple in Commander. And figured the price that it was being sold for, it was worth picking up. And so I need a lot of copies. I play a lot of commander decks. I play a lot of black decks. One needs to go into cube. So I figured I might as well grab some while they're still cheap. Because I think they're going to go up in price. But, I mean, don't quote me on that one. All right, hopefully I'm doing a good job about the address here. We got... A Frost Marsh to go in that Jorn deck that I built. The Jorn deck is pretty gross. I think that in the last mail day there were a lot of Jorn cards. Right. Well, there's a few things in here. Interesting. So there's this little package and this wrapped up one. 
Ah, yes. That's right. I ordered some bubble matrix. So, this card, when I purchased it, was very, very, very low in supply. And it had a very unique effect. And it's a card that I hadn't seen get played much. And it wasn't very expensive. So I was just like, yeah, let's just see what happens and buy a few copies. So it's a reserveless card. So it's bound to go up in price. Yeah, Bubble Matrix. All damage dealt to creatures is reduced to zero. It's a very cool effect. There's definitely some shenanigans that can happen here. So I figured, why not? See how that goes. And they threw in some foil lands. It looks like a foil swamp here. We got, if somebody can tell me what card this is, that'd be great. But it's a foreign rare. Is that Korean or Japanese? I don't know. And we got a Temple Bell. Hey, that's like a $2 card. And a Butcher Malk here. Oh, that was nice. This is very cool. Very, very cool. I love it when people throw in little extra cards. Fun little stuff like this. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Next up, we got... This is from Card Kingdom. So it looks like... I ordered more Dream Devourers from Card Kingdom, too. How many did how many did I get from Card Kingdom? Let's see. Okay, it's not all Dream Devourers, so we have that going for us. But we got some Dream Devourer foils. We got some Search for Glory foils. Some more Dream Devourers. Some more Search for Glories. And a Foil Cool Art Jorn. So this is for the Commander deck, obviously. And it's kind of a cool token. And I think Search for Glory is another really good spec. It was like a very cheap card. And I mean, it's a good tutor and commander. So figured, why not? Let's just see what happens. Something that can tutor up a legendary card seems pretty powerful. Snow cards and more... Like these, Search for Glory is a card that every set is just going to get a little bit better. Because there's going to be more legendary cards. There's probably going to be more saga cards. And well, there might be more sagas. There's going to be more legends. And who knows? There's going to be more snow stuff in the future. And obviously, I'm just a huge fan of Dream Devourer. And so we picked up some foils of both. And we picked up some non-foils of both. I think that this whole stack... Including the Jorn was like twenty dollars or something close to that. I tried I, maybe twenty five. I think that that's the free, or thirty. I think it was thirty because I think thirty dollars is the three the free shipping threshold on Card Kingdom. So I tried to hit that. Making sure that I didn't like pinch the cards. Good, we're good. Uh, nope, not picking those up. And over here, we've got, I think I'm doing a very good job of not showing my address this time around. Uh, the Necromancer. I think this might be more cards that I am speculating on or just wanted to pick up copies while they were cheap, just in case. Because the Necromancer is a pretty cool card in Commander. I think it's a powerful card. What else do we have in here, dudes? I got a lot of stuff. Oh, is this just all Necromancers? Full Art Necromancers. Regular Necromancers. <laughs> and regular Necromancers. Okay, so we got a lot of Necromancers. I am much more lukewarm on that spec now than I used to be. Oh, there's a sticker. Oh, it's a cool Card Kingdom sticker. I didn't even see that. I'm going to put that on a deck box. Thank you, Card Kingdom, for the sticker. And last envelope. Don't 
Well, I, I don't want to take it off screen, but I also don't want it to accidentally show my address, so... Into the North for that Jorn deck. Plus, it looks like... Oh, there's a few Into the Norths in here, it looks like. Um, yeah, we got two Into the Norths and a Fall from Favor that was probably just thrown in. Into the North is a great card, and... With Snowlands returning, this card's probably going to get up a little bit in price. I need a copy for Jorn, and it's just good to have a couple extra copies of this card. Alright. And so that's all of that stuff. Now, I'm going to zoom this thing out. And we're going to open... This big box. I'm gonna move the cards out of the way so that we don't get knocked over or anything. Alright, so I purchased what's in here I purchased in the past. Like I purchased one of these before. But it came in a very different box than this. So I was very surprised to see this box because knowing what's in here, it's kind of weird to be packaged this way. Man, this thing is super heavily taped. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... Wow. I was able to see what it is, and it is definitely the correct box. Alright, so I don't know if you guys know what this is yet. So this is literally just a massive top loader. This massive, massive top loader is for, oh, I'm sorry, this is a mess. Wow, this top loader is like really flimsy compared to the other one that I got before. I gotta give my buddy Paul a shout out here because he hooked me up with an extra War of the Spark foil uncut sheet that he had lying around. He had he got three of these, so he just gave me one of them. And so I'm gonna stick it in that big top loader and I'm gonna display it in my place. And as you all know, I have one already, and I use it in the background of my videos. And so this is how it will end up looking. The top loaders are pretty nice for these. It works out really well. This top loader is definitely better quality than the new one. But, yeah, they go. it looks pretty good. So, that's what we got. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ooh, you can see my pajamas there. I'm going to probably do some cuts. I have no idea. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check us out on Patreon if you want to support the channel. You can also support the channel via the TCG Player for the link down below. And comment on this video, like this video. Let me know if you like the Mail Day videos. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.